National Park Service, Arrowhead, text on screen, Chesapeake and Ohio Canal, National Historical Park. Photographs flash behind the Arrowhead. Ranger Stephanie Semick standing in front of the Paw Paw Tunnel. Hello, welcome to the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historical Park. This is the Paw Paw Tunnel, and I'm Ranger Stephanie. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. A look inside the stone tunnel. Have you ever started something that took much longer than you thought? Well, that's a similar story to here. When they were building the canal and they got to this location, they realized it was gonna be very challenging. Return to Ranger Stephanie. This section of the Potomac River is called the Paw Paw Bends. A map showing the Potomac River. Because the river meanders back and forth for about six miles with steep cliffs on the side. And so rather than building a canal and a towpath along these steep cliffs, return to Ranger Stephanie, they're re they realized there could be a shortcut through the mountain here. A black and white film of a man on horseback riding towards the Paw Paw Tunnel. And so that's what they decided to do. The tunnel would cost $33,500 and take two years to build. Return to Ranger Stephanie. This was the proposal. And so when they began, on June of 1836, they started at both ends of the mountain and from the tops in these vertical shafts to remove the rock. The painting showing the construction of the Paw Paw Tunnel. One man stands at the base of the mountain near the tunnel entrance, while three others stand atop the mountain using baskets and rope to lift rocks out of the tunnel through vertical shafts. They thought that they could remove six to seven feet per day but they were actually only able to remove nine to 12 feet per week. Return to Ranger Stephanie. It was much more challenging than they anticipated. The mountain behind me is 250 million years old. A black and white film from the perspective of a boat leaving the Paw Paw Tunnel. On the right is a man on horseback. In front of you and on the left is a large cliff. And it's created a mostly brawlier shale formation. It's very brittle rock. It was mud that was lithified. And then when the mountains formed, it was pushed together into different orientations of anticline, of an A-shape, and a syncline V-shape. Return to Ranger Stephanie. And it has been at rest since its formation. And so when they began digging a hole, it disturbed that formation and caused a lot of rock slides and a lot of casualties. Walking toward the Paw Paw Tunnel, rock walls on both the right and left. That two-year estimate was no longer reality and the $33,500 was now a comical computation. And so they, they realized that the chief labor that they relied on with the Irish immigrants didn't have the skill sets required to build a tunnel through Sorrel Ridge Mountain. Return to Ranger Stephanie. And so the contractor involved had to hire expert miners from Wales and England and professional German masons from Pennsylvania. And of course, this increased the price. There's a difference between paying the boy next door to paint your house than a professional. And so when they brought these other people in, it was no secret that they were paid much more than the Irish immigrants. Inside the tunnel, bricks and stones overhead. And this caused a lot of animosity and a lot of violence. The contractor was low on funding and he went two months behind paying the workers. The friction then turned on him. Returned to Ranger Stephanie. And there were riots, there were strikes. The workers threatened to destroy all the progress they had made. A person walks their bike towards the tunnel exit and fades away into a black and white picture of a mule and a mule driver along the towpath. 130 people were blacklisted. With the lack of workers, no funding, and disease outbreaks, the construction of the canal came to a halt for about five years, from 1842 to 1847. Return to Ranger Stephanie. After everything calmed down, they were able to get more contractors involved and more workers, and then they were finally able to complete the last section of the CNO Canal. They had a great ceremony in Cumberland on October 10, 1850, to celebrate the grand opening. Two black and white images of boats in the tunnel entrance. The tunnel during that time was declared as the eighth wonder of the world. Return to Ranger Stephanie. It did not take two years and $33,500 to build the tunnel. It took 14 years and it cost $600,000. There's, there's almost 6 million bricks of 
that lined the tunnel. It looked through the tunnel and the red bricks that make up the inside. And they had to use that many to ensure that there were no rock slides on the canalers or the mule team. Let's go explore the tunnel. Ranger Stephanie walks towards the dark tunnel and pulls out a flashlight. Some of the interesting things in the tunnel is that this is the original railing and there's still rope burns that you can see from when the mules pulled the boats through. A flashlight shines on a rough wooden railing. A metal disc on the brick wall. The whole tunnel is 3,118 feet long, so a little over half a mile. But to mark where you are in the tunnel, we have brass foot markers every 100 feet. Here's an example. This is about the middle of the tunnel. So when kids, there were mostly the mule drivers would walk through, it's a little scary. So sometimes they would sing to try to pacify the fear. You might be able to hear the acoustics of my voice. I'm not gonna sing for you though. But I'm gonna turn my flashlight off so you can see just how dark it gets. A single dot of light from the tunnel entrance and exit. A hole in the tunnel wall. So they built the wall about five layers thick and you can see where we were missing some bricks, just how thick the wall really is with the shale rock behind it. Another cool feature to point out is the wooden bumpers that they put here along the wall. A wooden bumper runs the length of the tunnel opposite the towpath. So that the canal boats wouldn't hit into the brick and damage it. The bumper and water filled canal Ranger Stephanie stands in front of the tunnel exit. We have now made it to the other side of the Paw Paw Tunnel, which, if you didn't know, is named after a tree, the Paw Paw Tree. And it fruits in the fall, so you can try one of its fruits. It tastes similar to a banana mango mix. But it had other uses as well. The Native Americans used to use the Paw Paw Tree to make rope and fishing nets and other materials. But the name here of the Paw Paw Tunnel is actually thought to come from a crossing here along the Potomac River during the colonial times. Black and white film of man on horseback riding towards the tunnel, National Park Service arrowhead, text on screen, National Park Service. Black and white film credit, text on screen, down the old Potomac, Library of Congress, motion picture, broadcasting, and recorded sound division.